Hello and welcome everybody, what is going on? So obviously with Yup Hank is now being up by and the question arises, what should his target, what should his aim, what should the goal be for the rest of the season? So I thought, I've been thinking for, for about that for a while now, you know, I think I'm in a different um, position than everyone else because I don't actually think that, you know, it's, it's that important really to get, you know, a, you know, to win all the trophies or whatnot. Right now, I think what Yip Hankins needs to do are other things and there's a lot of things that I feel like he has to do and uh, so I don't think it's going to be quite an easy task like many people are expecting it to be but I also think that, you know, it could be, yeah, it, it could be a, um, a task that perhaps in the future and like give or take three four years will be looked as yes okay that was that, that was honestly the point where everyone started playing well again so for me what your pine has to do it like I said, isn't so much trophy really i think winning the bundesliga that's obviously always the key goal but i think besides that i think the biggest issue that he has to resolve right now is first of all um get players who haven't been playing well or players that haven't been playing um at all or much get them back to their highest level and i think that's pretty much the most important thing right now for your pinkers because as we saw in Ancelotti, a lot of players weren't really playing to the level a lot of players weren't really playing to the best of their abilities i mean the key name here being for example alaba another name obviously being thomas muller i mean he i consider i think that he's played actually i, I actually think that he played well this season a lot of people don't think that okay um, but then, like I said, you have a f quite a few names, and you have obviously Boateng, who's been struggling. Then you have Hummels, who's sort of struggling and then not really struggling. Bit of a weird case. Then you have Javi, who also is sort of struggling but not really struggling. Then you obviously, when going forward, forward, you have the likes of uh, Coleman, um, who in his case he needs more game time. Then you have the likes of Ribery, who obviously is struggling right now. You may say he's just old, and that's what the level that he's at right now could be. Um, and then yeah, you know you have you have a lot of players in the squad that are currently struggling, and I think that's the main thing for him right now is to get all these players, especially the two key players that I'm thinking of, which are Alaba and Muller, get them back into shape, get them back to their level, and get be successful with them essentially. And I think, uh, especially Alaba, I think he really needs to get back into shape because there's a lot of calls right now for Benat to start over Alaba, and that's kind of scary considering Alaba, you know, a few years ago. Everyone said, "Oh, he's going to be. He is already the best left back in the world, and he's only going to get better." And since then, he just seems to have regressed, which is kind of a shame. But you know, like I said, I think he really needs to get back into his level. And I actually like the fact that Yopang has actually brought that up during press conference today. He said something along the lines of like, um, "Yeah, Alaba, you know, he hasn't really been playing. He's been out with injuries and whatnot, and he has to get back to his usual level when he returns." Um, he has to get back to his usual level when he starts playing again. So I just looked at it. I was like, you know what? Finally, somebody in the club admits it. Finally, somebody says it because recently I think Alaba was criticised and he just said, yeah, whatever. Um, you know, on Twitter he was saying like, yeah, whatever. You know, why are you criticising me and all that? And I feel like what you need right now is so what we, what especially the fans, what we need right now is somebody inside the club to admit it. And I like the fact that uh, that Yup just came there straight away and you know he he essentially admitted the problem. He essentially said Alaba hasn't really been playing at his level, so now the main focus will be how to get him back to his level. So I think that's going to be key. Um, besides like besides that, just besides the players, I think that we need a good, maybe not perhaps perhaps not good, but we need a uh, we need a game style a plan. A style of play that will be recognizable. I think that's obviously that's uh, that's Carlos Rummenigge's biggest thing that he always wanted a recognizable style, which was always the plan for him. You know, that's the, that's why Pep was so important for him. That's why he really wanted to go for Pep because he wanted that he wanted Bayern to have an identity similar to if you look at Barcelona, they have an identity. If you look at something like Atletico Madrid, they have an identity. They have a style of play that you expect them to play. Might not always work out, but you but um, it's still something that you expect them to do. It's still something that if you watch you know okay that's this team that's that team and that's exactly what Karen's Romaniga wanted Bayern to have and I think with your Heinkes we have a perfect play we have a perfect coach there uh who can get that you can get like a play style and identity um integrated into the team so I definitely think that you know that that's, that could be a uh, good thing that, that's going to be a good thing and uh would I'm, I'm just hoping honestly I'm just hoping that the things that I've set out, which are basically the play, getting the players back on track and then getting an identity playing, attractive identity playing, is going to be implemented because I, most of the, most of the play style really is what I'm looking forward to personally as a fan um, because 
I, I want some good football. I want some good entertaining football. It doesn't always have to be successful. It doesn't always have to be like at the best level. But as long as it's good, attractive, and fun to watch, which is obviously the most important thing, um, besides the results, obviously. Um, like I said, you can. For me, the way I look at it is always like this: you can always lose a game here or there because you're never gonna go 100% unbeaten. But as long as you play well, as long as you actually, you know, perhaps fought for the point or perhaps you were just unlucky, that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, then we'll go to trophies. I mentioned already, Bundesliga is a must. That's that's a must, right? That's a uh, that's that's usually the golden rule, right? Uh, as I think it's Oli Hoeneß who always says that Bundesliga is the earliest title. Essentially saying Bundesliga is the most genuine t title because it's not a, you know it's not a one off game. It's not a two off game. It is a whole season, and right now we are roughly give or take a quarter through the season so there's still three quarters of a season left to really to really push for that title to really push for getting those good results and i think once that happens we're going to see us going on a form we're going to see us going on a roll and then the winter break will happen and that roll will be gone but then we'll try getting back into that into that um spree and just keep going with a winning streak hopefully um but like i said the bundesliga is probably the most important title and then i think the dfb pokal at least semi-finals and the champions league i would say Usually I would say at least semi-finals, but just because I don't know exactly, it's still early days, so I don't actually know exactly how, um, how, I don't know, not so much how good, but more so how much will change in just a short period of time. I think after the winter break, I'll be able to say it clearer. Let's say quarterfinals at least. That's basically my goal. Quarterfinals, Champions League, at least, like, these are all at least. Quarterfinal, Champions League, uh, semi-final, DFB Pokal. And then you obviously have winning the Bundesliga. That's basically the way I look at it. Um, after the winter break, I'll be able to say if it's just quarterfinal or is it, if, or if it's semi-final or final. I think I never really say final. Semi-final is pretty much the highest I can I can personally give. You know, I always go in with like you have to get at least semi-final um, in a good season. But I'm gonna actually feel good about the season right now. It's still we're still at a point where I'm feeling good and I'm feeling bad. So it's a bit of a middle ground, which is I'm saying, which is why I'm saying quarterfinals. But all I'm gonna say is this. This should be a fun season. This should be an absolutely fun season. And I can't see any reason why this wouldn't be a fun season. But that's all there is, though, Lingo, then, from me today, Lamp. And I will see you guys next time. Tomorrow. Today. Whenever you're watching this, really. It's, this is quite quite late. I don't really upload at this time at night. Uh, but I just thought, you know what? Let's make this video. I was going to do that yesterday. Then I decided, you know what? Let's do FIFA. Um, I don't want to do two videos a day. Um, technically, I'm doing two videos a day right now because it's been uploaded night <laughs> so it's technically saturday but you get the point I don't want to i don't want to crowd everyone's subscription feeds because i know everyone likes having their videos separate from not just from one person i don't you know if i were to upload 10 videos in a day most of you guys will probably be like there's no point there's no point um so that's why there is gonna be this video today and the post match review um later on today and i will see you guys then until then ladies and gentlemen peace out everyone and have a nice day